Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Thursday, March 28th, 2024. We are back with our college basketball best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these college basketball videos every single day along with the NBA, NHL, and the MLB. We are so back in the MLB. Uh, we're going after our first 15,000 subscribers our first year on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together now. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we made some serious money yesterday. Members only best bet, Seton Hall, minus five and a half. Um, easy winner, never a doubt. Seton Hall killed you in LV. Uh, we have the under 146 now, VCU in Utah. I told y'all VCU has no offense whatsoever. You show, They showed me that yesterday. Also, when you, when you pair that with Utah, minus six and a half, that's big. When Utah, Utah started up on one of the like 15 to three or something like that. It was an absolute beatdown initially. And then VCU came back to like a three point game. And Utah in the second half just blew them off the court because VCU played absolutely no one early in this NIT tournament and they got smoked. Um, and then we had High Point plus one half. That was a loss. But like I told you, I just said, I didn't watch either Seattle or High Point. Um, it was the data. And we bet only half of you know that, like we said in the video yesterday, and we said our members. So really, we had a 3-0 day, in my opinion, because we had bit, our best bet won, which was a huge win. The, our our medium-sized bets won, and then we had our low bet, which didn't do shit. So overall, feeling great. We're 16-6. and 16-6 and six on um, in, the, in the last 22 co uh, college basketball bets that we've had. And we are on... A we're on a nine or an eight and one, excuse me, members only run right now in college basketball. We are absolutely crushing it. And we have five plays today for the Sweet 16. Five. And I love the plays today. I love the matchups. I love the fact that we had some we had some upsets early in the first round, and then we had chalk in the second. Now we're gonna have some amazing matchups in here. Um, and we have th of those five plays, three of those I'm gonna give us here on YouTube. We also have two members only plays in college basketball, two in the MLB, one in the NHL. You can get all of our members only plays at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all our members only plays every single day, which are our most profitable best bets on a day-to-day -day basis. On top of that, you do have a direct line to me. So any game you're considering betting, you reach out to our hotline number, get a guaranteed response back about any game you're considering betting. And you get all our free picks too on YouTube sent to you before these videos come out. That would take advantage of early lines, early odds. Get on the website zdmbest.com slash picks, zdmbest.com slash picks, zdmbest.com slash picks. So let's get into the plays that we have today. I'm going to get started with our first play, which is going to be UConn. Minus 11.5 versus San Diego State. When you look at this game, UConn has been a buzzsaw early on in this tournament, as everyone thought they would be. Biggest, I think the biggest factor here is the fact that San Diego State's going to have to fly across the country. They were playing in Spokane, Washington last week. Now they're going to be playing in Boston. Boston is basically a uh, home game for UConn. I mean, it literally is. They have to, they're like probably an hour drive uh, from campus. And the biggest factor that I see here is that San Diego State offensively, it, I don't think will be up to the challenge versus this UConn team because both these teams are elite defensively. And I mean elite defensively. And when you look at them, I, I they're elite defensively, but Ladie is not, I don't think he's going to have as big of an impact against UConn as he, people might think. I don't think the guards on, on San Diego State are going to be able to challenge Cam Spencer and these other boys here. Um, and UConn is a deep, deep, deep offensive team. Um, they have clinging to lock down the middle in defense, and he's a pretty good scorer when you give him the ability to. Uh, Cam Spencer's great. Newton's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, they still have Caravan, who is a sharpshooter like you, like like I've never seen. He's a fucking baller. Plus today, the public is heavy on San Diego State because they think, oh my god, national championship rematch. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. Like it, it just it just doesn't matter. I don't really think that. When you look at UConn, I don't think that I don't think the revenge factor matters because Dan Hurley is going to get the guys motivated. Dude was complaining about the, you, Dan Hurley was literally complaining about the fact they got the six thirty nine p.m. time slot as if seven oh nine would be any better. <laughs> like I, I, it doesn't. I, I love the fact that he's always hungry. So I'm rolling with UConn minus eleven and a half versus San Diego State. Next we go with Clemson plus seven and a half versus Arizona. 
Um, when I look at this team, when I look at this, when I look at this matchup, I don't trust Arizona at all. And not that they aren't good. They're one of the best teams in the country when they are mentally on point. Like they are the real deal. But the problem is, is they don't actually act like they're on point really ever. Um, and Arizona's too streaky. Clemson's going to keep this game close. Do I think Clemson will win? More than likely, no. More than likely, no. But the fact is that I get seven and a half points. And Clemson will keep this game close. And Clemson has shown that they can they, they can win games and keep games close in a multitude of different ways. Like when they win, a, they, they can show they can keep up and beat elite offensive teams. Like Arizona's elite offensive team. They got Caleb Love, Larson. Ballo's a pretty good offensive player other than when he's shooting free throws. I mean, they've got themselves they, they have they have themselves a little bit of a squad but Clemson went against Alabama at Alabama and won outright and scored like 95 points they can keep up offensively and they can overpower good defensive teams which Arizona is also a pretty good defensive team I mean they beat up TCU a little bit they actually won against UNC I mean there's they they have they've have, they've have shown the history of being able to be a giant killer and Arizona is a giant like they are legit now, Clemson's front line is also good. I think the front court can present some problems for Arizona because they have they have three guys who can play in the post and three guys who can overpower you. Battle can only guard one guy. Um, but I like Clemson here plus seven and a half versus Arizona. I think they win this. I think not win, but I think they gain this game really close. I think Arizona has a scare. And then lastly, we're gonna go with the over. 152 and a half in Arizona and Clemson. The only way Arizona wins this game by by more than seven is if they score 90, 95 points. In my opinion, I think because here's the thing: Clemson can keep it can keep up. I think they I think they absolutely can. So I can see both Clemson plus seven and a half and the over hitting. But I, I don't. There's also not as many butterflies as there is, are in the first round. And Clemson, I think, is going to come out. I think Clemson's going to come out loose. They'll be able to score. And Arizona is so talented offensively with Caleb Love and Larson and Ballo. I just don't really see how, in a way, this doesn't go over. Um, the only way I see this going over is if Clemson turn this in, turns this into a rock fight, which they very well could. But if they do turn it into a rock fight, Clemson's going to cover this game. So I, it's kind of a hedge against Clemson. But I think that both these plays are going to hit, especially given the fact that Arizona has been streaky offensively and streaky defensively in a way. So I like the over 152.5 Arizona and Clemson, plus sharp money's on the over here, big time today. Now, just so you all know, like I said, we do have five members only plays today. Um, you can get to ZDMBets.com slash picks. The website is linked in the comments below. Uh, but also, guys, we do have our future plays out. Make sure you go check those out. Um, Check this out on my Twitter. My Twitter's linked in the description below. Uh, but guys, let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure I'll check those other videos.